Eddie Hearn reacts to Ryan Garcia calling out Earl Spence, but ducking Boots Ennis. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Corner Red, Corner Red Sports. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all. So, Eddie Hearn recently gave an interview. He spoke about the antics of Ryan Garcia, the allegations going on against him, as well as Ryan calling out Earl Spence, but ducking Jerron Boots Ennis for the smoke. I just want to break all that down, get my 5,000 nickels for anybody. Oh, did you see his dad's reaction when I mentioned his name? <laughs> Who you got for me next, Boots? Pitbull. What? Listen, there's no secret in the games how good Boots is. But I keep saying it, and I, I, I get it. The only way these gonna these guys are gonna fight Boots is if the money's there, and we gotta build Boots into an attraction so that all of a sudden Ryan against Boots is a mega fight. All right, so Eddie Hearn, Ryan Garcia, Earl Spence, Jerron Boots, and it's what's really going on. You spit right in your eye. What you have to call me? Oh! So Eddie Hearn was recently asked. What does he think about the calling out of Earl Spence by Ryan Garcia? And does he actually kind of like take it seriously? A little prick stonewalling me. And his reaction was basically that we called him out, but it was Jerron Boots Ennis who was actually doing the calling out. And Ryan Garcia really had nothing to say. You must have got manure for your brain. Listen, I think Ryan Garcia Earl Spence would be a mega fight. Eddie Hearn said he feels like Jerron Ennis, Ryan Garcia, would be a mega fight. Call it. No need. I think both of those fights would do well. I think the difference is, you know, Boots, I really like Boots. I think he's the future. He just doesn't have the sellability just yet. I'm so depressed I can't even blame. To match Earl Spence. Now, you put Ryan Garcia in the ring with Earl Spence, I think that fight would do really, really well down in Cowboy Stadium down in Texas. I think that fight would most likely do upwards of a million buys. Baby, turn this shit off. I think that fight is perfect if Ryan gets past those allegations of PEDs. I don't know what's gonna happen with that. I'm hearing his second sample is supposed to be tested around the 22nd of this month. So we'll know something very, very soon regarding whether he's gonna be fighting in the near future or not. Bring out the pooper scooper! But if he is gonna be fighting in the near future, which I, I think he's gonna get cleared. I think he seems a lot confident about the fact that he's going to be cleared. Like I said in past videos, when promoters want something to be cleared, it'll be cleared. I mean, this is some shameful shit. So, if he does get past that and he actually does score a mega fight with Earl Spence Jr. and he gets past Earl Spence, well, I think that answers a lot of questions about Earl Spence. Oh, oh. But just putting that fight on, I think, would be the perfect comeback fight for Spence. If Spence actually did go down to Ryan Garcia, I think it's time for him to retire. But I do think that Earl Spence would stop Ryan Garcia at 147 or 154. All I want is for me and Earl to hook back up if he gets to fight with Ryan Garcia. The disrespect is just over the top. But on top of that, I heard I only did push-ups, and that was from somebody that had my name in their mouth. Me and Earl know why we did a lot of push-ups. If he fights Ryan Garcia, it will be Earl's former coach and Earl back with his old strength and conditioning coach, you know. Some things will be ironed out. At the end of the day, that situation between Derek and Earl is between Derek and Earl. Ryan should not be giving his two cents about it. From my understanding, it's a court situation, but you don't have to go in and start disrespecting this man, disrespecting this woman, and just going over the top, you know. <laughs> the petty side of me, y'all can have a little side bet. You don't even have to go to court. If Ryan wins, the money that Derek wants, we can put it in the contract, I give it to you. Now, I think it's highly unlikely that Earl is gonna fight Ryan at 147, even though I think he would stop him at 147. Now, Boots, on the other hand, let's say, Somehow Ryan Garcia got past Earl Spence Jr., which I highly doubt.
Boots, on the other hand, I think would stop Ryan very, very easily. Why are you hit me like that? And if Ryan fought Earl Spence in Cowboy Stadium and beat him, then that would just throw way more fuel on the fire for a Boots fight. Bro, he's considering going to Bad Boy because he, he wanted to be on a black label. I mean, we gotta know what, he, what his money going to. He wanted to be with his people. He wanted to be with the brothers. You know what I mean? I mean, we gotta know what, he, what his money going to. He supported black business. So there was a period where we were all cool. And over time, you know, things happened. I mean, we gotta know what, he, what his money going to. Pac started seeing things. And, you know, Biggie was on Puffy's label. So, you know, with them two, it was Puffy calling the shots. I mean, we gotta know where, he, where his money going to. Pac and Stretch was best friends. Stretch was with him when he got shot at Quad. And after that, Stretch went on tour with Biggie. I mean, we gotta know where, he, where his money going to. So, anybody familiar with our clique would understand that that's weird. Uh, because if you was rolling with Pac, you was rolling with Pac. Now let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section below. That like button for me. Share, 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 subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Holler at me on all social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, but you're more than likely to get a response on the tubes or holler at me over there. If you want to collab or feature a product of your channel or my channel, feel free to hit my Gmail because it is flock of cards at gmail.com. And we are mine. Don't try this at home. I don't know shit about boxing. Baby, I always brag that we get up when I seen her out in front of the crib. Looking like she lost her will to live. All rusty, holes in her shoes. Glass is busted, getting caught in the rain, had a musty Skies on her side, her last new jumper Dents in her bumper, she couldn't even ride until I confronted her I wasn't tripping though, spinning dough Round the way they thought it was a miracle How you went from the chick with the cassette stereo To riding by, having haters like, there she go Leaving the whole block disrupted When I let my baby take off a top in public Buy my chick, it's not a discussion Not even for a million dollars Now if you feel me, holla I got an old school chick An old school ride With the stripes down the middle And the chrome on the side Then rear view shaking Got them six by nines That's my chick I got an old school ride Got an old school chick An old school ride With the stripes down the middle Yeah, uh. Now it is. Gotta feel this. 
Right here across America. Around the collar.